Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Wanted to give you guys a uh, good dose of dope before I uh, call it a day. I actually had a pretty good video this morning where I uh, went over several things, none of it uh, mail call related. But after thinking about it, I figured I'd, uh, I'd address the issues in that video at a later date and uh, start digging into uh, all this dope that's piling up. And I got plenty of it. Uh, but first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. God damn it. It does help the channel. It does trick that algorithm. And it does help your boy to go viral. Okay, enough of that shit. The way we're going to do this today is, um, I don't even know what, what I'm going to title this, but basically I got three, uh, three knives that came in. We're going to go over them briefly. And then if this video isn't too long, I'm going to share with you guys uh, my most carried knives for the month of May. Uh, basically, there's seven days in a week, so I decided to pick seven of the most carried knives from the month of May just to show you guys how I'm rolling. Uh, so let's get into this. Um, let's go with uh, this one first. This is how they came in order. Uh, hadn't had a chance to open this one up yet. I just took it out the box. None of them actually I've taken taken out completely. This one came from Casey, uh, Knives Fast. Shout out to the young man. And I guess he sent me a couple still, okay. There's one for uh, JD for EDC and one from Casey. Uh, this is from the uh, YouTube Pass Around group. JD had this first, uh, Casey had it next. Now your boys got it. This one, um, was looked kind of interesting. Uh, looking at it online, it really didn't wasn't something that I necessarily would. Well, fuck it. Let's let's just look at it. You know, my my opinion might change after the fact. What is this? Okay, I guess they sent us a uh, a handkerchief with a knife. Also, wonderful presentation. I know I've said this a lot, and I will always continue to say this. This is the first thing we see. So when a uh, company decides to spend a little bit of money on the packaging, I think it's only positive things from that point going forward. All right, let's drop the top on this bitch and get up close and personal, shall we? All right, this one is from Caval. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I've never, ever had a knife. I've never seen a knife from Caval. Uh, full disclosure, didn't even much know about the company until uh, this started getting passed around. Let's see which way I open it. I'm not sure if it matters. Got a, a little tab here of some kind. All right, so that's the way. Okay, so it was upside down, I guess. Let's see what this is. I guess this must be the knife. This is the, um, for y'all who might not know, before I open it up, this is the Caval Amuse. I think is how you pronounce it, Amuse. Uh, it is from a company called Rock Paper Scissors. Hank, I think Hank is the gentleman's name, I believe, Hank Amuse. The, um, the knife we're gonna be taking a look at here is actually inspired by the uh, cooking industry, chefs in particularly. I believe the uh, gentleman by the name of Hank was a longtime chef as far as I understand it. And this is uh, something rare, you know? Uh, this is probably one of the very few culinary orientated designs in the community. Uh, there are a couple out there, none that I can think of off the top of my head, but this is one of them. So out the gate, let's get a little up close look at it, and then we'll go over it a little bit more. I mean, it's it's uh, it's well done. I do not know who the OEM is on this one. I have no idea. I tried to look it up, couldn't find anything out. Um, we'll go over the specs real quick, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Overall length on this, it's a big girl, 8.46 inches. Uh, we've got a handle length coming in at 5.11 inches, blade length 3.85, uh, 
we've got a blade stock coming in at 15 hundredths. Blade steel on this is M390. I do know that they are reporting the HRC of uh, 58 to 60. That's the range. Um, I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm not a metallurgist, but 58 is definitely too low. We have nice contoured titanium handles here. Uh, this is a frame lock. Uh, stainless steel lock insert for sure. The color on these scales are like a black and bronze, kind of a mix. We've got a nice little logo there. I, I'm assuming that's got to be Caval's logo. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not. Knife is deployed via your cutout. Detent is dialed the fuck in. She flies out, comes back to the house, flies out, back to the house. Ergonomically, this is kind of a... Um, when you look at it, you would you would think this would be uncomfortable, but it's not. I can definitely see the uh, the chef inspiration here, or rather the culinary inspiration. Definitely, definitely getting uh, kitchen knife vibes from this. Now, this is pretty pricey. Uh, this was three hundred and fourteen dollars. Now, I don't know if I'd spend that. I know that there's kitchen knives that cost more than that, but not in my goddamn kitchen. I can tell you that. But um, it's, it, 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 it is an attractive knife. I will give it that. I don't want to shit on it. We have some nice milling up here by the pivot. A, um, we have like a brass colored as far as our hardware. Pocket clip is right hand tip up carry. Action is great. I will give it that, you know. All right, before we get to the next one, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a couple, uh, two knives just for a little bit of a size comparison. Trying to keep them... Uh, them big vibes going first up is going to be the max ace amber three which is also a big old knife so we can see that the uh amuse is a little bit smaller than that amber three uh last but certainly not least for this one a legendary knife on this channel this is a knife that uh tried to take me out y'all that is the heretic wraith i love that damn knife so we can see here that this American Beast is um, just a uh, uh, just a hair bigger than the uh, Caval, but the Amber Three seems to be the bigger out of all of them. What do you all think? This is just a quick overview of it. Not necessarily my uh, my jam, but I can appreciate its beauty. So there we have the Caval Amuse. Mm -mm -mm. Don't know what I think about that. All right, let's get to the next box. This one, I already opened the box up, but I have not uh, dug into the knife, and I'm, I'm, I'm eager for this one. This one was sent through the Apex Pass Around Group. Uh, I received this from Rob's Nerdy Knives. I am not familiar with, the, um, with Mr. Rob, but he's got a channel. Give him a follow, give him some views. While you're at it, fucking subscribe. Knife from Concept. I don't think I've ever had any. I know that I haven't had any Concepts in the collection, uh, let alone I don't think I've... I think uh, No, I don't think I've even held any. No, I lie to you. Blade Show, I did handle some. Now, this one, when I looked at it, this is the uh, Redis. Looking at this knife online, I had no interest in it at all. But now that I see it in person, um, things may change a little bit. Out the gate, I'm liking what I see. Let's go ahead and... The tent and dial the fuck in. Got a little bit of marking here on the blade. Let's get an up close look at it. Nice milling here on these uh, handles. Okay, frame lock. I do think they may have a liner lock version for this knife. Don't quote me on that, but for some reason I feel like that may be the case. Let's go over the specs on this one as well. This one came in at $180. This is actually a uh, DOCK design. Um, I've seen that name on Kaiser knives. I think the October actually is also a uh, dock design. Uh, overall length on this is eight inches. So once again, another full size knife. Handle length on this one came in at 4.5 inches. Uh, we've got a blade length of three and a half inches. The uh, blade stock thickness is 13 hundredths. CPM S35BN is our blade steel. One of my favorite steels. So easy to uh, maintain the edge. Uh, just a good stropping and you're right back to business. Flat grind on this. They refer to this blade as a drop point. Um, in, in, 
and it is. I almost thought we had a compound grind here and we might, we might have a compound flat or just maybe the same angle on both. But um, it's kind of a weird looking blade, but I do really love these handles. These are titanium, like I mentioned, uh, blue anodization on these. This is a steel pocket clip. That's, that's where these fucking companies lose me, man. You're charging $180 for this knife and you're gonna go ahead and throw a fucking steel pocket clip on it. Blows the fucking mind. Uh, let's check out the app. God damn, boy. Yeah, action is official. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, knife is deployed via the, they refer to this as a thumb hole and your thumb studs. I don't see the purpose in that. I, I almost wonder why they designed it like this. You know, I, I just, it's just, I, I don't get it, but open back construction. Oh, no, wait a minute. We do have a little quarter length backspacer back there. I'm assuming that's got to be titanium, you know, but ain't no fucking telling. Flat grind on the blade, nice and thin behind the edge here. The uh, blade is riding on Kate ceramic bearings, and we also have a ceramic detent ball. The pocket clip is right hand tip up carry only. Overall weight on this one came in at 3.8 ounces. So for the size, that's not too bad as far as weight goes. Um, let's throw up just two knives for this comparison. Uh, first up, we're gonna throw up that uh, Tuya Kaladin. That's that Jim Skelton design. That knife has slowly grown on me a little bit. You know, I, I, I really wasn't that big of a fan, but I carried it for a couple of days and it's not too bad, man. So we can see that the uh, Redis is a little bit smaller than the Caladan. Last up, get some American vibes up in here. The legendary Spyderco Para 3. Quite a bit smaller than the Redis. So we can see there that um, that eight inches is well uh, carried well or dis dispersed well, I should say. Yeah, I think, um, I think I'm a fan of this one. Um, I may have to put this one in the pocket tomorrow to see how, how it carries. But uh, I just can't get over that goddamn pocket clip. Steel fucking pocket clip. I just can't believe it. But there we have the Concept Redis. I do believe that the um, the people from Concept used to be at Kaiser. I believe there's something along those lines there. Some some history. Like they they left Kaiser. I don't know if they were disgruntled or what have you, but they then created Concept, and um, that's where we are today with Concept. I, th I want to say for some reason I'm thinking 2016, 2018. Uh, don't quote me on that as well. But here we have the Redis, perfect EDC. A little bit bigger, a little bit outside my sweet spot as far as overall size, but it seems to uh, fit the hand good. Uh, ergos are nice. I do not feel this pocket clip. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, I take that back. Yeah, I can feel it a little bit. But anyways, wonderful access to that lock bar. Tons of access. No problem disengaging. And like I mentioned, that detent is dialed the fuck in. So that was the Concept Redis. All right, this next one is probably uh, what I'm most excited about. Shout out to the, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Johnny B, a.k.a. El Cap. This is uh, actually El Cap's knife. I, uh, he, he assigned me the task of finding it, and I found it. I managed to uh, find what we're about to look at on E-Knives. But of course, I would have much rather have found this knife on DNK Knives. And I advise you to do the same. Wonderful selection. A lot of American-made knives on this website. And when you do find what you're looking for, be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE, goddammit. Save yourself 10%. I would. Appreciate you, Don Farmer. All right, people. Enough of the enough of the shilling. Let's go ahead and dive into this. We're gonna use my uh, my brand new Mini XOM. Oh, I love this fucking knife. I've um I've bought I think maybe three knives, including this. Even though this technically isn't mine, but I still bought it on my account. Um, I've bought three knives from E Knives. And the um, service has been okay. I, I don't have anything to complain about. Pricing seems to be competitive. 
Of course, there's no discount codes, but a lot of these websites don't give you discount codes. That's why you gotta cherish the ones that do. Make sure there's no personal information in here. And there is. Okay, one thing that E-Knives does that I really dig, they always give you a little bit of candy. There's a sticker and a Band-Aid. Might need that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shout out to the queen. If she's watching, she's a uh, she's a Vero mark. This is from Vero, obviously. I've only ever had one Vero in my collection ever, and I ended up selling or trading it to the Queen, as a matter of fact, and that was the uh, Mini Impulse. It was a great knife. It was um, you know created uh, with some great fit and finish. It just never got any goddamn pocket time at all, literally. So, you know how that goes. If it doesn't get pocket time, it's got to move on. So, I can see that on these, um, it seems like they added some color to the patch. If I recall, mine wasn't as uh, colorful as this one. But I do dig these patches. This one is the Axon Frame Lock. Here goes the uh, COA. Yeah. I have really... When um when old Johnny B wanted this knife, I took it. Uh, I was excited about it because I had really wanted this. I had been on the fence about it, so this is kind of a um, kind of a uh, an ability for me to check it out. And then if I do like it enough, I'll I'll get myself one. This is the newer version. I know that the older versions didn't give you this fuller on both sides. Uh, let's check it out. Oh wait a minute, that didn't seem very nice. There ain't no way. Oh Lord, look, you gotta be kidding me. Bro, I am ever so slight. Oh no. Oh no, thank God we fucking got this on video. You have got to be kidding me. How would this knife? Wow. I almost wonder if they fucking lost the goddamn detent ball. Hold on, stay, stand by. No, it's got a detent ball, but it it does not have any fucking detent. My lord, look at this! I'm literally just put it just 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 barely pushing my finger out. Oh no, you all got to do better than this, man. There ain't no fucking way. Mm mm mm. Look at our lockup. We're like falling off the edge here on the lockup. I don't even. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do y'all see this? Yeah. This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. I almost wonder. I mean, this is insane. I literally put in the description, check centering, check detent, lock up everything. There ain't no way y'all can tell me y'all check the lockup on that. I wonder I wonder if the camera can see this. Look at this. It's literally, I mean, just barely touching the tang of that blade. I mean, I'm barely bumping it. I wonder if I could push on it. Well, if I grip it, obviously it's going to uh, make it stronger. I'm trying not to cut myself, people. I just made it a little bit stronger, but yeah, this is unacceptable, man. Um, I guess we'll still go over the knife. Uh, knife has no detent to speak of, um, but anyways, we've got a uh, price tag on this was three hundred and seventy fucking dollars. Johnny B ain't not going to be happy. Uh, overall length is eight inches. We've got a handle length coming in at four point six. Blade length is three point four inches. Uh, blade stock thickness came in at one hundred and thirty five thousandths. Nice sheep's foot style blade with a uh, black wash finish. Handles have also been black washed. This is, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, these are titanium handles. Uh, frame lock, pocket clip is right hand tip up carry only. We've got about a three, three quarter length backspacer there. A little bit of jimping uh, from your front flipper here at the base of the spine. 
Mm -mm -mm. Uh, blade is riding on cage ceramic bearings, and the uh, OEM is best tech. Man, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm very disappointed, man. I really did not expect this. But uh, overall weight was 4.5 ounces, and that is the uh, one of the most disappointing knives I think I've unboxed in quite a while. Come on, sweetheart, calm down. One of the most disappointing knives I've unboxed in a while, especially for the price tag. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let Johnny decide what he wants to do. If he wants to mess around with the D10 himself, or if he wants to just send it back. If it was me, $370, I'm sending it back. All right, y'all, let's just go over quickly some of my uh, most carried knives from the month of May. I decided to give y'all just a quick seven coming in hot first up this little beauty right here has seen so much pocket time since purchasing it uh this is the we hyphen this is a michael gavko design um, i love this knife i know some people complained about the overall size of it i can um i can see their argument but for me i really do enjoy a smaller carry knife and this one uh lives in the goddamn pocket that is the uh we hyphen Let's keep them out there. Next up, y'all have heard me wax poetic about this, this next one nonstop. It is one of the best knife uh, releases of this year, and that is the um, Bridgeport Knife Company 395, baby. Version two, don't get it fucked up. 20 CV blade steel with the shredded carbon fiber handles, uh, inset liner lock. One thing we can rest assured on, no lock failure on this one, and Detent, dial the fuck in. She flies out. Back to the house. Flies out. Back to the house. I love this knife. This came in to, uh, to the door. It was about $195. Worth every goddamn penny. Kubi was the OEM on this one. All right. Next one. Y'all have heard this goddamn knife so much. I, You should know by now what it's going to be. This one is uh, the Echo CJRB. Uh, even though I am not totally uh, happy with the company right now i do love this knife i love a couple of their knives artisan cutlery slash cjrb uh this one did not disappoint this version you see here is the knife center exclusive rocking ARRPM 9 for the blade steel front flipper apparatus deploys the knife she flies out titanium bolsters with the black micarta inlay i've got two of these knives um i got the full titanium which is my blade show pickup and this one and this one has seen tons of pocket time for the month of May. Okay, next up. Spyderco Sage 5 Lightweight, baby. Uh, this, of course, I went ahead and uh, put on these Parson Blade Works titanium scales. Totally changed the knife. Even before putting the scales on, the uh, lightweight itself was getting quite a bit of pocket time. This is a perfect, perfect EDC knife. Size, geometry, all that. This is a winner here. Uh, ergonomically, I mean, it's across the board. This is a fantastic knife. S30B blade steel satin finish, utilizing Spyderco's uh, trademark compression lock. Knife flies out. Forward finger choil allows me to choke up and get that full purchase, no refund. Full purchase, no refund. That's right. That's four down, three more to go. All right, this next one has seen, an, a, another one that's seen tons of time, especially now during these summer months. And that is the Spyderco Salt Series. Uh, this one is in the CPM Magna Cut, AKA Magna Cum Laude. Uh, this is the Native 5 Lightweight. This was my first uh, first knife in the Salt Series. I had almost got that uh, LC200N1, which is another one of my favorite steels, by the way. Stay tuned on that, I got something coming. Um, but the Native 5, the model itself, that and the Sage are probably tied, I'd say, for one of my favorite models um, in the Spyderco lineup. Shit, it may even be it may even be the most favorite. Um, nonetheless, we've got a leaf-shaped blade here. We have a nice full flat grind. This is this has the uh, FRN scales. With this color is the marine yellow. It has the uh, back lock, so you know that your your lockup is strong. And um, your fidget factor, believe it or not, for a back lock is there, man. Spyderco executes their back locks, I mean, like no other company that I can think of. 
And this one has seen tons of pocket time for the month of May. All right, last two, baby. Got some big girls in the building. First up is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Cold Steel AD-15. I love this fucking knife. I've said it before and I'll continue to say it. Why are we not seeing more knives with this Scorpion lock? Whether it's you, Demko, whether it's you, Cold Steel, give us another fucking knife with this lock. I just, I beg of you. Uh, the lock is super strong. Uh, as you grip down, it, it, it just only gets stronger. Super fidgety. Uh, it's super safe. Your fingers are out of the path of that blade upon closing and detent dial the fuck in this one has the uh, there are several versions to this knife this one comes with the s35 vn blade steel we have a black uh black pvd or no i'm sorry i think this is black dlc black dlc coated and um i love it it's a big one but it's such it's so capable of so much all right last up my most carried knife for the month of may has to be my Spyderco Manix 2 and Glorious 15V. Yeah, this was the first drop in the 15V sprint run. I uh, got it in December of 2022, and I've used the shit out of it. I've never had to sharpen it as of this point. Uh, it's just a good stropping. Beautiful stone wash on this blade will hide all those scratches for the most part. I went ahead and uh, customized it myself by putting on these Applied Weapons Tech Scales. Uh, changed my ball cage and my ceramic detent, or rather my ceramic uh, ceramic ball. And then I also had to finish the uh, package with that nice Lynch Northwest side deep carry pocket clip. Yep, there you fuckers have it. My most carried knives in the month of May for 2023. Well, I guess we had a up and down video. We started strong. Then we had a major catastrophe with this axon. I gotta send this to uh, send this information to Johnny B. See what he wants me to do. Reach out to E Knives, but this is unacceptable. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers. <laughs>